Hello and welcome to the NARC Alert, the channel where we look at YouTubers and others to see if they demonstrate any traits that fall within the spectrum of narcissistic personality disorder or NPD. These videos are for fun and entertainment purposes only, strictly my opinion, and remember, please don't send any snark to our possible narcs. So key points to remember, messy fun, and not a diagnosis. Hello, hello, my lovely alerts, and welcome to Thursday. We've almost made it through another week. Because it's Thursday and there's just really tumbleweeds rolling through the Amberverse, I thought it might be time for a silly little compilation. And what better compilation to look at than all the times that Amber Lynn Reed talked about or was in the 400s. It's quite a magical number for her. Let's jump on the scale and have a look at the 400s with Amber Lynn Reed. Out of the um, 300s in the longest time. I mean, I was in the 400s just a couple years ago, but as for being in the 200s, uh, last I remember, <clears throat> I weighed 290 at the age of 11. Insane, I know. But as you can tell, I was I was an obese child. I wasn't just, you know, chubby. I wasn't just baby fat. I was obese, but we all wanted to believe it was baby fat, but it wasn't. I promised myself I would never be in the 400s again. Here I am, 24 years old, and I weigh 403.6. I've never actually done this before, but I see a lot of people do it on Instagram. Some very motivating and inspiring people on Instagram show that the scale isn't everything. So, I got this little handy dandy measuring. I just measured almost every single part of my body, wrote it down. That was all an adventure in itself. Okay, so this is something that has been frequently asked is what is your goal weight? I used to answer with 199 because I felt like that was suitable. Like I was literally out of the 500s, out of the 400s, out of the 300s, out of the 200s and I was in the Wonderland area. But then I changed it to 170. I changed that because I felt like that was more healthy than 199, although 199 pounds at this weight would be very healthy. So no matter what anyone says, yes. But every time I think of either one of those numbers, it's like daunting. It's like, I'm never going to get there. It's so far away. I literally have to lose like way over 300 pounds to get to any of those. So it's like... It makes me like gag. I am proud of myself, don't get me wrong. Could I have done better? Sure. But you guys, my next step is 60 pounds down and then it's gonna be 70 and then I'm gonna be in the 400s and I really, really wanna keep this up. I wanna keep this momentum. I feel like what I'm doing for myself right now is working, it's obviously. And it feels so good, it feels so good, honestly. <laughs> because I was holding on to that because I was just debating back and forth. Do I really want to upload this video? Do I really want to? Do I really want to? Because as you guys know, I really wanted to wait till I was in the 400s. But then four days later, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. So that means the last nine days of January, since I weighed myself January 22nd at 519.6, the last nine days of January, I did gain 4.4 pounds. Kind of like how I've been doing and things like that. So, I want to start off with saying that yes, I am in the 400s and a lot of people have thought that I wasn't telling the truth regarding that because I didn't physically step on the scale. And I guess I understand where you're coming from because at first I thought people were just like saying I was lying for whatever reason, but then I noticed a lot of people were saying, how come you're not celebrating? you know, and they were putting themselves in my shoes and saying, you know, if I were you, I would have had a celebratory video and I would have been super excited to share that and I would have filmed a reaction, like a reaction to me stepping on the scale and finally reaching that because that was my goal. My goal was to be in the 400s and a lot of people are just like, you're not acting like you actually are and I don't believe you. So I do get that. And I did have a lot of people congratulating me, so thank you. And I think the biggest reason why, honestly, 
I didn't make a whole video regarding it is because I kind of feel numb to it, to be honest. And it's been happening a lot lately, like where I set a goal for myself, I reach it and I'm kind of numb to it. And I've always been expecting this big pivotal moment and I don't ever get that, honestly. I don't ever get this huge, magnificent rush of excitement and I am proud. I am proud of myself. 498.8, so we are back in the 400s in full swing. That means since yesterday I lost 1.4 and in total I am down 73.6 which means to reach 469.8, I have 29 pounds to go exactly. Lower, and I don't think this month in August, I don't think I'll lose 30 pounds, but my next goal is just to be in the 400s. So I have 32.6 pounds to go to get into the 400s. I literally cannot wait. And I hope within the next, I wanna say six weeks, so like a month and a half, I can actually do that. Um, Fingers crossed, I know that's asking a lot for my body, but I really hope that I can do it. Yeah, I'm like super excited to get into the 400s. Like 499.8 is my current like mini goal. And I like, I don't wanna speak this out into existence because usually when that happens, like I tend to fail. Um, but I really want to reach 499.8 by November 1st. It seems like kind of out of reach at the moment. But I feel like as long as every single day I work towards that, even if I don't get there, like at least I could say that I tried. I miss your way in, but I'm glad to hear you're making progress. You deserve to be healthy. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. Um, it is very weird that like I'm almost in the 400s. Like it's, it's a really neat feeling. And <laughs> on my mirror, actually, I have... Cause you can write on a mirror. I have a list of things that I do every morning. Literally I have the same routine. I wake up, go to the bathroom, weigh myself. Then on the mirror, I write what my weight was, how much more I have to go till I reach my goal. And then I write the things I need to do throughout the day. Sure, Jan. And then I just cross off as I go and then I do the process again the next day. On my next Wednesday weigh-in, I am going to try every single day. I will not have cheesy bread. I will not have Cold Stone. I just really want to be in the 400s and it's coming up. It is coming soon and I'm so excited. It's like, it's like I really hope that next weigh-in I could be like, I'm down over 70 pounds and I reached my goal. I don't want to hype anyone up because I could fail. I did not get into the 400s. I did not reach my goal. I was doing super amazing at the beginning of the week. And when I noticed I'm not losing weight fast enough, I said, hey, it's time to self-sabotage. I have coffee when I first wake up. Like it's almost like an appetite suppressant. So I love having just a little bit of coffee. It definitely helps. You guys, I'm back in the 400s. We're back doing the thing. Boot that I was gonna have to wear and that didn't even fit because of my lymphedema. And it's just like, the pain just kept getting worse and worse. I was at the emergency room for a few hours and by the time it was time for me to leave, like I could not walk on it. And as someone who's, you know, in the 400s, it's terrifying. I want to be in the 400s. Like I want to be out of the 500s. I could be 498. I mean, that's a little, uh, but um, I do want to lose more than one pound, obviously. But here's my weigh-in for today. I did take a picture for you guys, 523.6. And it's sad because I did think I was back in the 400s, but I am okay. The week my body was finally catching up. So today I weighed in at 522.8. That is a 3.4 loss and I'm very happy with that. So in total, actually since July of 2021, I'm down about 49 pounds. So I do want to do some like mini goals and my mini goal is I just want to be 499.8. I really want to get back in the 400s and then we'll focus on going lower once I get there. All right, you guys, new apartment, new bathroom. That means new weigh-in. Let's do it. Hello. Hey, Freddy. Hello, hello. 508.8 now. 508.8. Hell yeah. I keep losing that weight. Pretty soon I'm gonna be in the 400s, I'm excited. All right, so I was 
15.8. All right, I can see myself getting into the 400s in just January. Keep my fingers crossed. I have to do the work though. It's not something I could just wish for. It's something I have to actively try for and work towards. This is what I ate today. That is the reason why. So I don't know, folks. I feel good. I hope you guys are feeling good. I am literally almost in the 400s and I am so excited to just finally say goodbye to the 500s. So next week, you guys, you might be seeing this here. This here uh, dainty girly pop, uh, hopefully with a four instead of a five in front of her number because I'm over it. My body like reacted really well last week by losing 14 pounds, but now it's like, no, let's not do this this week. Even though I'm literally on track. It's just, it's frustrating and it's hard and I really want to do my Wednesday weigh-in and be in the 400s. Like I weighed in today at 504 and today's Sunday and Wednesday's coming up. It's like, can I lose that weight in the next few days? I don't know. See how I did in February since I did the same thing in January. So let's step on the scale. I'm fighting yeah. my way to literally the 400s. Let's do this. Okay, I'm stepping on. Guys, that means I am in the freaking 400s. And I know to a lot of people, it's like, wow, you're celebrating that. Yeah, actually I am. I am celebrating that. I'm not even gonna sit here and explain why because it's obvious. It is honestly obvious at this point. Have you ever heard the term word salad? If I just woke up one day and I just did everything perfectly, I have no room to grow. I have no room to improve. I only have room to fail and to cheat and to not have success because I'm not gonna stay perfect. No one stays perfect. So with the way that I'm doing things now, I have room to grow, room to improve every day. As long as I do half of a percent better than the day before, I'm happy with that. I will always leave room for mistakes and slip ups because that's normal. That's part of being a human. And so far this year I am succeeding and I feel happy about that. Well, that was quite a speech. I just had to leave that in at the end for you now. Yesterday was Wednesday and we got no weigh-in on weigh-in Wednesday. Do you think that perhaps she's out of the 400s? Oh gosh, Amby, we have our fingers crossed for you and we can't wait to see you again. And I can't wait to see you again on Saturday's live stream. So until we meet again from Rio and I, please just remember to be kind and hasta luego.